Good morning, students. Uh, in previous lecture, we have discussed about the uh, structure of ear. Okay, and uh, here again we are going to discuss about some internal part of the ear. Okay, so uh, yesterday we have discussed about the cochlea, right? So let's talk about some dynamic structures which will help you, us to understand the uh, complete structure of ear. Okay, so here. Internally, how ear looks like that we are going to draw. So, you can uh, give a title that is internal ear. Actually, we have already given this title, but this is for your ear.
So this is the structure of internal gear. Okay, you can label it. This is the gear. This is semi-circular canvas. Semi-circular canvas. Semi-circular canvas. Okay, it contains the ducts. Contains the ducts. This part is referred as the anterior part of the semicircular canal. Then it is the this one is the posterior. Thank 
projecting ridges projecting ridges projecting ridges okay called crest called crest or crest okay now ampullaris
external ear. Okay, it consists of three parts. So it consists of three parts, which are those. Basically, it consists of the pinna, pinna, then auditory canal. And finally, it consists of the tympanum. So we have discussed about this point when we have discussed about the external ear. What is pina is okay. It consists of the uh, ligamentous uh, what you say cartilage. Okay, that is uh, consisting of yellow fibers is connected to you. It is movable elastic one. Then auditory canal and the tympanum. Right. The next. Apart from that, another part of the ear is called as the middle ear. Middle ear. Okay. So it consists of two parts. It consists of two parts. That is the tympanic cavity. Tympanic. cavity and another part is the auditory ossicle auditory ossicle okay now another uh, part of the ear okay so here we can uh, write as the ear it consists of three parts Okay, because uh, while writing the questions or while solving the questions, you may get some difficulties. So this difficulty. 
difficulties can be solved easily with the help of flowchart. Okay. So here, sound waves.
sound will be perceived and perception of sound perception of sound takes place okay so this is how the sound is being uh, sound perception is being taken place that is the sound will be collected by the pila that is the external part of the ear okay next one auditory meters will receive it in the form of the sound waves that is the vibration the vibration will be traveling from the tympanum to tympanic cavity and from to the ear ossicles ear ossicles consist of three parts okay that is the malleus then the stapes okay and uh, one more is there which one is there that is the incus the next it will move towards the peristalsis of malleus then it will the sound waves they are moving okay and as it move towards the sensory hair cells of organ of god teeth there will be generation of an impulse okay with the help of the auditory nerve it will take the impulses to the auditory area of the brain in the cerebrum we have seen about it right so where by which we can or by which there will be a generation of an external cerebral section so which uh, we can perceive the sound okay what type of sound uh, whatever some type of sound are there that sound will be perceived in such a manner okay so this is what about the Uh, structure of ear function of ear okay how the structure at nerves how ear performs the function of ear okay so this is what about the process as well as the part of the sound waves in the ear okay i hope you get it if you have any kind of difficulty you can ask me by texting your doubts in the whatsapp okay the next uh, this is the complete uh, end of the neural control and coordination so we have started with the uh, nerve impulses or we have started with the neurons okay so neurons there are different types of neurons okay depending upon their polarity okay unipolar bipolar pseudo unipolar okay multipolar apart from that we have seen about the structure of multipolar neuron which is more prominent okay and uh, before uh, after that we have also discussed about the generation and conduction of nerve impulses right then we have discussed about the brain right parts of brain that is fore brain mid brain hind brain isn't it about meninges what uh, parts are there in the meninges right if you have uh, seen we have the world most of the part means all the part of this chapter okay if you have any kind of difficulty in understanding any of the concept okay if you have forgot any kind of concept then also you can whatsapp and ask the queries okay thank you